What is up guys? Good morning and welcome back to Bandy Bag Fishing. Today we are back out on the ice. For now, we're gonna go ahead and start out at Phelan Lake. We're gonna see how it goes. If it's good, then we will stay here. And if it's not too good, we will hop around the metro at some of these lakes and try to see if we can catch some more fish, okay? But we don't have any big shiners today. All we have is just small little fat heads, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the hook and see if anything bites. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, we got the first hole drilled. As you can see there, our minnow is just obviously chilling by himself down there. Right now, we are at a new spot, 7.2 feet of water. We're working an inside turn, trying to see if we can see if anything wants to happen. But right now, we're just pretty much just waiting. I'm pretty sure that pike might come back. Oh, there he is. Oh, I freaking took it. Got him. Got him, boys. Uh, uh, uh. What the heck? How the heck did I not get that? That was crazy. Yeah, right now it's like 7.2 feet of, wa of water. The weather is just amazing right now. It's like 40 degrees outside. It's gonna get even hotter, guys. It's amazing. I'm gonna fish here for probably <clears throat> an hour. Maybe check around these, these spots, but these pikes and bass, they should swim by. Hopefully I see a white bass, that'd be pretty dope. But, what the heck? Ooh, oh, ho, ho. Yo, I didn't even see that fish come, hell yeah guys. Hopefully I see a white bass, that'd be pretty dope. But, what the heck? Ooh, oh, ho, ho. Yo, I didn't even see that fish come, hell yeah guys. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let him fight, oh yeah. That was awesome, guys. First fish of the day. Nice pike. Hell yeah, guys. I got my drag set good now because last time I lost a giant. Not that big of a pike. Ooh! It's pretty big. It feels big. Let's see what it is, baby. Oh, yeah! Big fella. Dang, look at his freaking stomach. This dude is fatty. First fish of the day. Nice little pike here, a little slimer. We'll let him go, thank you, Mr. Pike. Without you, we wouldn't caught a fish. This dude is fat. See you, man. Woo, first fish of the day. Yes. I don't know, guys, there's been nothing. Maybe today's too freaking nice of a day. It happens, man. Most beautiful days ever. There is just no fish, bro. Dude, that's a big bass. He just came up by the camera. Yo, that was crazy, guys. Eat it, eat it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Whew. Let's go, baby. The fish are biting. Hell yeah, I wanted the shiner, but the shiner popped out. <sighs> Look at this beautiful bass, guys. Hell yeah, this is what we come out here for. There's these little bass. Amazing colors of this guy. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and let our bass friend go. Thank you so much, Mr. Bass. Here you go. Down in the water. All right, guys, we have moved lake, all right? Now we are at the beautiful Driver's Lake, which is also a part of the St. Paul Chains by Phelan Lake, okay? So we are up lake, okay, as you can see. Right now we have our little minnow down there just dabbling around in 8.1 feet of water. In the background, you guys can't see, there is weeds, okay? So we are obviously fishing a weed line. I checked the bottom, there are there is a rock transition here as predicted. In this lake, I know that there is a bunch of rocks right at that transition. So if we try, we're going to try here for maybe 10 minutes or whatever and see if we can get any reactions. If we can't, 
we will go ahead and try other rock piles in this lake. And just adding this, this lake should have tons of bass, more than Phelan. I just never really tried it because I know that the lake water is a little bit more stained, as you guys can see, a lot more nutrition, plankton going on down there. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully you can get on some fish here. Well, guys, we finally found some fish. Look at them. Lively down there. Ooh, the bass is just checking this out, man. We got to get the bass, guys. He's definitely interested. And also these bluegills are. They're just checking it out. Oh, this is a tiny bass looking at this. That bass is microscopic. Come on. Let's catch him. Dude, he's looking at the sinker. Woo! Guys, we finally caught a fish. Heck yeah. Oh! Heck yeah! Look at this bass, guys. This is a nice, thick bass. Oh! Hell yeah! After all day, we finally catch a pretty decent bass, guys. Hell yeah! Woo! Nice and thick. Came out of the shallows. Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. All freaking day. Never give up, guys. Hell yeah. Woo! Let him go. Dang, this guy's thick. 17, no, 16 and a half. Beautiful bass. Let him go. Thank you so much for fighting today, Mr. Bass. See ya. Down in the hole. Damn, that was crazy. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and drop our middle back down there. Today, we only have some fat heads, so we'll, we will work with what we have. But, dude, hell yeah. Finally catching some decent fish after grinding all day at freaking Jarvis. We are now here at Wabasa Lake. Right now, we are in 5.2 feet of water, and we are just checking on the camera, waiting for when we see fish come by. But other than that, we are fishing super shallow waters, guys. I finally learned how to properly catch these bass. So pretty much how it works is as soon as it hits, you gotta just set the hook right away. I know some of you guys have been telling me that and now I finally comprehend, all right? But we will look at this camera down there until we see some more fish come out. I was kind of worried a little bit because I didn't have any shiners and stuff, but with just fat heads, I'm glad I'm still able to get some bites. Looks like th that bass, they came in pairs, so Pretty much just wait for it. Oh, there's a pike, guys. Shall we catch the pike? Dang, that's a pretty nice sized pike, guys. Oh, he didn't want it. Dang, that's a gutty pike, guys. Ooh, that's a nice bass, guys. The thing about sight fishing, you can say, this is pretty much like sight fishing. It's so exciting, like, you just never freaking know what's gonna hit your bait, like, pretty insane. From what I can tell, a lot of these bass and pike are just roaming on top of the weeds. But yeah, guys, those of you guys are wondering, I will probably continue to fish for bass and pike until the season closes. It closes, like, next week, so here in Minnesota, you can't really target them no more after that. So I'm going to enjoy the, my time watching these fish hunt and kill. Oh my gosh. A 
bass swam through and I wasn't even paying attention. Well guys, I think we're gonna call it a day. What a relatively tough day of fishing, but that's just how it is, guys. Sometimes you don't catch nothing, really. I mean, I only caught, I think, like two bass and like one pike, but dang. That is kind of a bummer, bummer but I am still very glad that I'm still able to catch some fish. But anyways, guys, uh, you guys know the cue. Make sure to like the video, comment something down below, and we'll talk fishing and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Other than that, guys, I'll see you on the ice. Peace out.